Well, ladies and gentlemen, step right up, step right up. We got some breaking news, and that is, according to Adam Schefter, before I put this out there, I've got to shout out uh, my guy, Gage, Denver Broncos Syndicate, told me this was happening, says a new home, former Broncos wide receiver Tim Patrick is expected to sign with the Detroit Lions practice squad with the idea that he will work his way onto the active roster per Source. Now, I'm going to keep it a buck, right? When I first saw this, when I first saw the news that we signed him, I literally popped a gasket. The one person who was cut out of all the receivers that got cut today, the one person that we probably should have stayed the furthest away from is the person that we went after. Now, the fact that he is going to the practice squad, that softens the blow a little bit. That means that he has to make it to the 53-man roster. The Lions aren't signing him to the 53-man roster. And guess what? I can deal with that one a little bit better. But why? Why would you say that, Derek? Why would you say, no, not you? Why would you pop a gasket? Well, let me tell you why I would pop a gasket. Because Tim Patrick has not played since 2021 a regular season game. This is his first year back. He played in two preseason games. Well, why hasn't he played? Well, let me tell you why, okay? You're not going to be able to see this, but I'm going to bring it in anyway. It says, wide receiver Tim Patrick suffered a complete tear on his left Achilles in Monday's practice. This was last season, before the season even started, July 31st. Patrick, this is the second straight year, I'm reading right here, Patrick has suffered a season-ending injury in August following last year's torn ACL. So again, a guy coming off of two, two consecutive season-ending injuries. Now again, this is a practice squad move. So I had to woo sigh. I had to take a breath. I had to take a breath, bro, because I'm sitting in here. Now, I took the L on James Houston. It is what it is. L indeed. But I'm trying to figure this out. We could have signed Josh Reynolds. We could have kept Josh Reynolds. This guy is 30 years old. He's 30 years old. We could have kept Josh Reynolds, easy work, done deal. But Josh cost too much money. That's why we, you pay, you, my mom always said to me, you get what you pay for. Nine times out of 10, you're going to get what you pay for. We could have kept Josh. Now, I saw an article from Dave Briquette, okay, that for Josh, I guess it wasn't about the money. But I guess the Lions offered him 5.5 for two years. Then they, they rescinded it. They came back after the Cam Sutton drama had unfolded. And Josh Reynolds took his talents elsewhere. Now, you can put it on the drops. You can put it on. You can say whatever you say. I'm not going to blame the NFC title game loss on Josh Reynolds. But let's talk about let's talk about Tim Patrick. Now, shout out to my guy, Denver Broncos Syndicate, who loves this guy, speaks very highly of him. Okay. Spent 2018, his entire career with the Denver Broncos. Denver Broncos. Before he got hurt, he was coming off his second best season. So this guy right here, if he makes the team, this is a is the Josh Reynolds replacement. Very similar numbers here. He's got more catches. Josh had 40 his last season or last season out of 65 tar- 64 targets. He has 53 catches his last season out of 85. This guy is 6'4". 6'4". So, again, practice squad, this guy's going to the practice squad, which means that he has to work his way up to the 53-man roster. I can live with this. I can live with that because he's not on the 53-man roster. The Detroit Lions right now, unless, now now it's very possible that the Lions go in to the 2024 season with four wide receivers, which ironically, according to the Miami Dolphins guys, Miami did the same thing. So we go into the, so so if Tim Patrick signs with the practice squad, you have three elevations per year, which means that are we going into the season with four wide receivers? We'll elevate Tim Patrick because that's what it sounds like the Lions are going to do. Not could be completely wrong. I took three L's on the day already. Are we going to sign Tim Patrick? on the practice squad with the with the thought of him using those three elevations if we need a fifth wide receiver after that third elevation we bring him in to the 53 man roster 
which means that one of the guys who made it needs to be cut for that to happen. This practice squad is something else. That's a totally different thing. I can live with that. I can live with that. Originally, when I thought he was signed to the active roster, I'm just like the one dude. The one dude. You had Noah Brown out there. You had Isaiah Hodgins. You had uh, other guys out there that were not coming off a two-year stint. Now, according to Denver Broncos Syndicate, he said he looked good out there. Tim Patrick looked good out there in the two preseason games he played. My question to you, ladies and gentlemen, watching this video, why couldn't we just sign Josh Reynolds? Why, why couldn't we just keep Josh Reynolds? Why, if it ain't broke, why fix it? And like I said, you can say whatever you want to about the NFC title. I think that's ridiculous to put all of that on Josh Reynolds. You can literally blame every position on our team. You could blame the coaches. You could blame Jameer Gibbs for the fumble. You could blame the defense. You can literally put blame all around. Why are we picking up Josh Reynolds? But you know what? Josh Reynolds is not our problem anymore. And, and here's the, the funny part. Josh Reynolds made the team that Tim Patrick didn't. Now, of course, you signed a dude to it. So you already knew. That's how much faith they had at Tim Patrick. But this is what the that's what they do. That's what they this is what they do. Now, the question that I have again as we wrap the video up is, <laughs> is do you think that this was the big body X wide receiver that the Detroit Lions are going to because they got some options here. They they move him up three elevations, then they sign him, or he doesn't make the team at all. For a guy on the practice squad and potential and all, I will say this. I will say this, okay, because I know y'all in the comment section typing away, blah, blah, blah. We First of all, we in season, so get ready. Is the risk versus reward for Tim Patrick going on the practice squad is decent. I can rock with that. I can rock with that 100%. 100%. My thing is, we going into the season with four wideouts? When you got two of them probably returning kicks and punts? So, uh, essentially, if Khalif Raymond and Isaiah Williams return punts and kicks, we got two wide receivers on our team. Now, granted, our highest second reception leader was a tight end. I still think we need a big body dude on our team. And it's Tim Patrick look like it's it. So, breaking news, y'all. Breaking news, the Detroit Lions, I tell you what, they moving fast this year. They got the 53-man roster out in record time. We've never seen it out that fast. And they immediately make a signing to a to practice squad. And get this, it was somebody who wasn't even on our team. Now, I'm just full of questions. But one more popped up in my head. If you're Tim Patrick, the Broncos tried to trade him. They didn't get, nobody took the bait. If you're Tim Patrick, you could have gone anywhere else. Now, don't forget, Tim Patrick can also be snatched off the practice squad. And if that happens, if that is going to happen, then the Lions will elevate him. So I am, I'm starting to believe that the Lions are going to elevate this guy. It, 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 it literally, because you're going to put a guy like Tim Patrick on the practice squad. He can be ripped off that. So the Lions would have to protect him. Why not elevate him anyway? So there's got to be something, there's got to be something to this. That's just my thoughts. But like I said, I took three L's today already. I could be all out in left field. This could be the guy. <laughs> this could be the guy. So, again, risk versus reward. If he's on the practice squad, then, I mean, it is what it is. I'm just, I'm just like, man, we had a guy who was healthy, who we could have paid, who was doing just fine, minus a few drops, that everybody wants to hold that over his head. To go get a guy who literally couldn't beat out that guy on his new team. Let me know your thoughts, Tim Patrick. But you know what? I did not. I don't know if I brought in the stats. So let's bring in the stats real quick. 2018, played in 16 games, had 315 yards, one touchdown. 2019, played in half the season, had 218 yards, no touchdowns. 2020, COVID year, 15 games, 742 yards. Okay, cool. Six touchdowns, did his thing that year. Almost duplicated it the year that after that and then had. So he was heating up. There's no doubt about it. And these numbers here, like I did, I think I did show this. These numbers here are, they, they're, they're Josh Reynolds-esque. Maybe Josh Reynolds had 40 receptions, 64 targets for 608 yards. And I think he had a handful of touchdowns. 
So again, I'm of the mindset that if you take a guy like Tim Patrick and you look at the potential, this kind of screams that he's going to be elevated eventually. But why did the Lions sign him to the practice squad? What was the, there had to be a strategic reason for that. I don't know if it was some type of salary or what. But I'm thinking if I'm Tim Patrick and you know you got skills, you you killing it in the preseason, you know that you you tried to be, they tried to trade you, nobody took the bait, you're probably going to be, somebody's going to be in, in the running for you. Why would you sign with somebody's practice squad unless you had a really, really, really good chance to make their, like, eventually be on a 53? And sooner than later. It just makes sense to me. But we'll see. But let me know your thoughts, man. Again, maybe I played this already. I don't know. I played it again. Breaking news. Lions bring in their first practice squad person, 6'4", wide receiver, Tim Patrick, coming off eight consecutive injuries back-to-back years. I mean, they were different injuries, so we shall see. Not the end of the world, just not what I was looking for. But let me know your thoughts in the com- comments below. Let me, let me ask you this. Be honest with yourself. Out of all the guys that you saw cut today, I bet you this is the one you knew in the back of your mind was going to come to Detroit. You already knew. <laughs> you, you know you did. This channel is brought to you by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. You should have seen me before I hit record. You wouldn't have liked me when I was angry. <laughs>